Welcome to Royal Secrets. Following a recent declaration, Meghan Markle is prepared to reveal more shocking information to the royal family. The first three episodes of Meghan Markle's podcast series, Archetypes, have already been made available. According to a notice posted on Archetypes' official Spotify page, the Duchess of Sussex's podcast series will continue the following week. Regular episodes will resume on Tuesday, October 4, it said. Immediately after the passing of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8, Meghan's podcast episode was suspended. The Archetypes page on Spotify posted an update shortly after the 96-year passing, old stating. New episodes of Archetypes will be suspended during the formal mourning period for Her Majesty the Queen. Immediately after the passing of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8, Meghan's podcast episode was suspended. The Archetypes page on Spotify posted an update shortly after the 96-year passing, old stating. New episodes of Archetypes will be suspended during the formal mourning period for Her Majesty the Queen. What must we do, then? Do another official engagement while you're out? This doesn't make any sense, I declared. Can you just tell people what happened? I asked. Optically, I think the focus ends up being on how it looks rather than how it feels. Megan talked with Ms. Carey about being mixed race in the second episode of her show. The Duchess said to the performer, If there was ever a period in my life when I was more concerned about my race, it was when I first started dating my husband. Then, because I had previously been treated like a mixed woman, I began to comprehend what it was like to be treated like a black woman, and things truly changed. During her interview with Ms. Kaling, Megan talked more about her childhood, claiming she was a ugly duckling as a child. But she also remembered how irritated she had been during her early months of dating Prince Harry, when people told her she was fortunate, he had picked her. And eventually, after hearing it a million times, you think, well, I selected him, too, she added. Added her. They've got it all wrong, I'm the lucky one since you chose me, my partner was saying as he countered that narrative for me. However, it is gendered, stereotyped, and based on archetypes, so you're really lucky. And it only reinforces the notion that you should be confident in your own ability, rather than waiting for affirmation from others. Megan has made references to the firm and her history in the episodes that have already been broadcast, so it's possible that she will make additional revelations in the remaining eight episodes of her series, which debuted in late August. The Duchess may be making some last-minute edits to the already recorded episodes, according to royal authority Kinsey Schofield, to see that nothing disrespectful or derogatory is uttered in the direction of the royal family in the wake of the Queen's passing. At the conclusion of her third podcast episode, Meghan revealed who she will speak with next. The Duchess continued, I can't wait to chat with you again next time, when we get a bit more particular and dive into the convoluted world of the stereotype known as the Dragon Lady, as she concluded her conversation with Ms. Kaling. Then she announced that her upcoming guests will be the stand-up comedian Margaret Cho and the journalist Liesel in another news. Made his wife's life terrible. Dr. Shola goes on an irate tirade against King Charles's record. Dr. Shola Mose Shogbamimu criticized King Charles for making the woman he married miserable and questioned his character in light of his previous actions. Dr. Shola Mose Shogbamimu, incensed, asserted that King Charles had the fortitude to stand up to his parents and marry the woman he loved and instead rendered the woman he did marry, a then 20 year old Diana, miserable during a phone in from a caller called Tracy. While discussing His Majesty's extramarital affair, Dr. Shola questioned His Majesty's capacity for service and criticized his character. Jeremy Vine questioned caller Tracy on Wednesday's show about whether the upcoming season of The Crown is going to hurt Charles. Tracy stated during a call that the previous series, Series 4, very severely injured him. The fifth season of the show, which first revealed problems between Charles and his ex-wife, is set to air later this year. Charles, according to Tracy, came off as not caring and couldn't care less about Diana. Instead, he did things that made the wife he had miserable. Nine months after starting a relationship with Diana and just over a year before the birth of their first child, Prince William, Charles wed Diana in 1981. Diana was only 20 years old, and Charles was 32 at the time of the royal wedding. 
Diana famously remarked in an interview from 1995 that there were three of us in this marriage, adding that it was a bit crowded in reference to Charles's affair. Despite being married to different people, Charles and Camilla allegedly started dating in 1986, according to People. When the then Prince of Wales left on an eight-month assignment with the Royal Navy, they ended their previous romantic involvement. Charles and Camilla were legally wed on April 9, 2005, at Windsor Guildhall, eight years after Diana's untimely death and nine years after their divorce was finalized. The Queen announced eight months before her death that she had given her daughter-in-law her blessing to assume the title of Queen Consort upon Charles's succession as a result of the pair's rigorous effort to boost Camilla's reputation.